Hello everyone, my name is Michael and welcome to another episode of this Puppeteer tutorial series. In this episode we will see how we can control iframes automatically and yeah, let's get straight into that. So this is the example I will be using. So I have created a simple HTML page which has a title, a paragraph and then we have the iframe. Now let me show you with inspect element. So this is the iframe. And if you don't know what an iframe is, iframe allows you to embed other websites within your website. So basically, I have embedded this website, example.com, which has this example page. As you will see, the same website is embedded within my website. Usually, we want to automatically do stuff within the iframe because some websites for security reasons have iframes for their forms. For example, their sign up form can be within an iframe. Why is that? Because if you don't want someone to automatically log into your website using simple JavaScript, basically, if you don't know already, you can execute JavaScript like so. So I can do the query selector and then click something within the website just by using JavaScript. Now that, that poses a security threat to the website. So that's why some websites prefer using their forms within an iframe. But what if we want to do some testing, right? So maybe you have that website, but you want to test your form. Now, usually you will just use the actual URL of that form. But if you want to do it normally, you want to access your form through the iframe. So let's see how we can do that. So in this episode, we will see how we can get certain text and then how we can click the more information button. So first of all, let's do node index and run our example here. So basically I'm just using public here, launching a browser and then visiting my index.html example, which I have launched through my live server and yeah, let's test it. And there we go. Okay, so let's close it now for now. And let's go here and see the first way. So the first method of accessing an iframe is using query selectors. So for example, what I can do is const iframe, let's say hashtag one, or let's say first method basically, equals, and then I can do await page, dot dollar basically i'll use the evaluate method and then i'll pass here the query selector basically as you see right here it it runs the document the query selector so it's the same thing so now to get the query selector for our iframe what we could do is go on our iframe right click go here to copy and then copy selector by the way, to launch this right here, you can do right click and then inspect to, to launch your inspect element. And yeah, it's that simple. So now if we go back, we can copy our iframe selector and then what we can do is get the content frame of that iframe. So let's say iframe first content frame and then we can do stuff within the iframe so what i could do is let's say const title i equals to and then i can do this so basically now that we have accessed the iframe you can run the same commands that you would usually run with a normal website so right here i'm using evaluate to get the h1 tag and yeah, basically everything besides this right here will be the same as if you accessed the page immediately. All right, so it will be exactly the same. Okay, so let's do console.log title and let's run our example. And if we go back, as you see, it says example domain basically gets this title right here. 
Now we could do the same for the P tag. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's see text. And actually, let's do browser to close. And let's run command again. And as you see, we've got the example domain and also the text. And as you see, it is correct. And now to click the button again, it's the same as you will normally do it. So what you will do normally do is a wait page, but instead of the page, we'll use the iframe. And then we'll see click, we will say click a button. Let's see, is it a button? No, it is not a button, it is an H strip. Okay, so let's do that. And let's do it. Actually, let me now make it so it doesn't close the browser and let's rerun it. And there we go. So now this didn't load, but it did click the button. But yana.org doesn't allow its website to be viewed through the iframe. But that's okay. So let's close it. And yeah, that's basically it. So now this stays the same, but let's change the way here. So another way of doing it is iterating through the iframes of the page. So as you see, let's do this for now. What we can do is use the await page.frames and get all the frames the page has. So let's do that first. Let's say const frames plus two. And then let's console the log the frames. So we can see what information we get. So let's run it. Actually, we will get an error here. So let's comment this out. And there we go. So we got the iframes, but before I go on to what information we get, you might want to wait for the page that frames because usually in many websites the frames will not load immediately so when you run this you will not get any frames but so basically you can do a wait new promise and then just wait one second 10 seconds and see what works for you you could also try to wait until the website has fully loaded with wait until network idle 2 which i have showed in other videos how it works and yeah so let's go ahead and see what information we get so we get the iframe now there is no any useful information here actually there isn't any useful information at all but here's this, here is what you can do. First of all, you could say find the iframe based on the name of the iframe. Now, as you see here, the frame names attribute is specified. Okay, so first, when you do frame.name, it will try to get the name of the iframe. All right, so the tag within the iframe. Now, if the name, basically the tag name, isn't specified, as you see, it will return the ID. So with the same method, if you don't have a name and you want to access the ID, you could use it dot name. And yeah, so basically, if we go back on our example, right here if our iframe had for example let's edit the html if it had an id and it said for example example then we could use this method and say we want to get the iframe within the id example this would work and then immediately we could do the rest and then the same happens for if it had a name So let's say name equals example. 
Now, if you want to access the ID, but it also has a name, then it wouldn't work It will only access name. So have that in mind. But yeah, this is method number two. And also, besides the name, you could also get, I think, if I'm not mistaken, the title. Yes, you could get the title. And it basically returns the frame title. Now, another method you could use is await for frame. So you could use basically the same method we do to find the frame. So frame.name or frame.title. And we could use this functionality to at the same time wait for the frame and then once we find the frame, return it right here to the value frame. So yeah, that's a quick note. Or you could also do a wait page wait for selector and then you can specify the iframe selector. Also, you could use the URL. So if you want to do it based on the URL, we could say if the iframe.url equals that, or we could do includes. So basically, if the URL is dynamic, we could just do a part of the URL. And if it does include it, so basically we could do example.com, then do the rest. If it does include, basically return it. That's what we do right here. So let's try that because we right now have the URL, not the title or the name. So let's do that. And nope, we got an error. Okay, let's console the log the iframe and see what we get. We get undefined. Okay, so it wasn't able to find the frame. Um, let's do something else. So let's say const frames and then say for each frame once the log the URL and see what we get for our example. Oh, right. Okay. So it could be that we need to wait. So let's do that. So let's say I'll wait. And I like to do it like so. So let's wait three seconds and then do the rest. And maybe this time it works. Okay, so like I said, as you see right here, we waited for three seconds for the iframe to load. And as you see, it is found right here. So this time we could do what we did before. So let's undo and then redo. There we go. Let's rerun the code. And as you see, it works just fine. So yeah, like I said, pay attention to timeouts because you probably need them for the iframes because they don't load immediately. And again, have in mind that what you do normally within a page with Puppeteer, after you get the iframe and use the iframe instead of the page right here, you could do exactly the same. Yeah, I guess those are the two main methods. So either, let's see, either you use the page.frames so you can fetch the frames and then use basically URL, title, or the name to filter the frames and get the frame you want, or you could do it based on the selector. Now, sometimes the selector doesn't work, so you will want to use this method right here. Also, you could use this method for other reasons as well. For example, if you want to solve captcha, and you don't know which iframe has the captcha. If we go on um, up here with captcha, I have said that in another video, but let me show this in this video as well because it is important. 
if we go down here let's say right here so it says if you cannot find the captchas basically what you can do is loop over all the potential frames on that page like so so you could do page dot main frame and then get all the child frames oh yeah so this is another method right here so instead of doing page dot frames it uses page dot main frame so it gets a page basically and then gets all the iframes within the page so that works as well so you could use this method as well and then it tries to solve the captcha and right here it says the same here so in case it doesn't work because of cross origin issues then you could use these arguments so yeah have a visit in this page as well public your extra plugin will capture and yeah so yeah that's it for this video let me know down in the comments if you have any questions and i'll do the same video for selenium so yeah if you are interested in that hit a like let me know down in the comments but either way i'll do it very very soon so yeah see ya